Welcome PSY 309 students. This is my week four commentary and the first one from uh, the Greeks in the Czech Republic. Uh, behind me you'll see my new apartment. I arrived a few hours ago. So uh, first my apologies for posting this video uh, about three days late this week. Uh, being on route is my excuse, but I think I can do better certainly in the weeks ahead and will. Uh, this week, uh, test one is accessible, uh, but it is not due until the end of next week. So you have two weeks essentially to complete test one. That does cover uh, chapter three for this week. Um, and um, so I'm going to comment a bit on that content in a moment, uh, but I want to make you aware that one of the week's expectations is to study for that test and to complete it by the end of next week. Also, with related related to assignments is the question of developing your course project. Uh, this week I'm asking you to put your reflections or thoughts about your course project on the discussion board. Uh, it is due in written form as a proposal uh, before the spring break, uh, which gives you about a month, so there's plenty of time. Uh, the, the real issue is studying this chapter on research methods and seeing what you can do to uh, essentially incorporate references and show your knowledge of research design and the limitations uh, of your research which is going to be a very small project in this course with lots of limitations. All right, so uh, look to the discussion board uh, to begin participating in that conversation. Uh, and which brings me to my next point. I would like to find students who are interested in consulting with me about their projects. I have two agenda items in, in mind. One is to coach you and make developing the project as useful for you as possible. And number two is to see if you're open to uh, learning the technolo technological skills of collaborating internationally. So uh, if you're interested in uh, setting up an appointment with me, uh, I would certainly be interested in doing that with you uh, by video conferencing through Google Hangouts probably, but also I can send you a Zoom invitation and we can go from there. The only thing required at your end would be on your computer some form of camera and microphone. Okay, and that leads me to the international piece uh, which is the international Google community. Uh, tomorrow I'll have my first meetings with the faculty here and hopefully start getting the word out uh, about uh, working with you and uh, those of you who are willing uh, to look at your topics and your research questions from a cross-cultural perspective. And I think the opportunity here to interview someone in a different culture about your project uh, would be invaluable uh, for so many reasons. So I encourage you to do that. I'll put the steps to developing those relationships uh, into next week's folder. The reason there's no hurry is that the TUL, the Technical University of Liberides, the TUL semester begins only in the last week of February. So there's plenty of time um, as far as anticipating them. The bad news is your semester will be running short a month before, uh, in other words, coming to the end a month before theirs. So we'll problem solve those. The first step will be joining a Google community, uh, and I'll be posting uh, steps for doing that this week. Now, turning to the question of um, uh, research methods, which is the focus of Chapter 3. Chapter 3 follows extremely naturally from, of course, Chapter 2, which was about uh, major theories. And I offered the idea that certainly theories are not the right answer or the truth, but rather it's good for us to look at theories as roadmaps or approximations. You know, they say that the map is never the territory itself, and that's certainly true. So last week we looked at uh, major theories uh, and noted their limitations, 
coming largely from Euro-American uh, psychologists and developmental scientists. This week we really look at the toolbox of researchers and let's note first that these are professional researchers having obtained graduate degrees and whatnot. So what you're seeing in chapter three is really an introduction uh, to research methods that are most specific to uh, developmental studies of adulthood and aging. Uh, I recommend strongly uh, the Whitbourne and Whitbourne slides uh, and take note of the 23 topics in this chapter. I think the slides are a good summation of uh, what's in the toolbox and if you have some comprehension of the kind of critical thinking that is used to design effective research uh, in this area. I think the first takeaway point is you'll, you'll understand that research is certainly different than simply offering opinion. And research is certainly different uh, than what high school students might be accustomed to or even freshman college students with respect to simply going out and doing what I call show-and-tell papers. Uh, research uh, is, a, is a constructive activity. And I sort of think of researchers as something like good cooks or uh, carpenters. Knowing what your tools are and how to use them is a very big deal. Uh, I do have an interest in this area, and I don't expect that you'll share that interest uh, to the depth that uh, I've cultivated it, but that's fine, because uh, remember, I'm the guy in the red apron here to coach you along your journey and uh, developing your projects. So the, on the uh, final point on Chapter 3 is uh, it's complicated, just like cooking is complicated or carpentry is com complicated. It takes a long time to learn, but one can begin and one can develop their skills further and apply them in useful ways at whatever level of development they're at. And that's the, uh, that's the expectation for this course. Uh, you'll notice on the test prep notes for test one, chapter three is included. However, there are only eight items uh, uh, because the test as a whole covers uh, four chapters. So uh, as far as testable items, I frankly wouldn't worry about that as a major contributor, positive or negative, to your course grade, although it'll make a difference. Uh, most importantly is just simply try to acquire the vocabulary, the understanding, and show that understanding by your critical thinking about examples. That's really the name of the game, and that's what's on the discussion board. Okay, I think that's enough. This is, my, again, my first attempt at a commentary from Czech Republic. I'll be interested to see how we all fare when my, my skills and habits are formed uh, so that I can continue to develop these for you over the course of the semester. So, uh, get involved on the discussion board or one-to-one -one with myself or with other students. Uh, think about your course project and get as far into research methods as you can this week. Thanks.